हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू जे जी के मास्टर क्लास गाइज इन टूडे सेशन वी विल स्टडी अबाउट कार्पलस कर्व विच बिलोंग्स टू प्रोटोन एन एम आर एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कार्पलस कर्व एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन यू शुड हैव द नॉलेज ऑफ कपलिंग कॉन्स्टेंट एंड डाई हैंड्रल एंगल सो हियर बेसिकली वी विल सी हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द कपलिंग कॉन्स्टेंट वॉट आर द फॉर्मूलाज और इक्वेशन हाउ टू फाइंड द डायड्रल एंगल एंड विल टेक द एग्जाम्पल हियर साइक्लो हेक्सेन all this topic and this carpelus curve, carpelus curve is very important for msc chemistry students and csir net and gate examination uh, you can find uh, this topic in uh, other competitive exams as well so uh, you just go through with your syllabus and uh, you can prepare it now uh, i have already uploaded many more videos on proton nmr like uh, an isotropic effect uh, first order second order number of signals in proton nmr c13 nmr 2d nmr and an isotropic diastereotropic many topics are there if you haven't seen those videos i will share the link in the description box you can go and watch the videos here in this channel basically i'll be discussing the previous years of msc chemistry question papers and questions on various different topics not only spectroscopy stereochemistry organometallics green synthesis many more topics are there you can find on my channel so if you find the content uh, useful for you do like it and share it with your friend so our question is sketch the carpelus curve and highlight its importance we will see one more question a uh, application based question in the last of this uh, ppt so as they are asking you carpelus curve so first you should know what is carpelus curve here so it describes the correlation between 3j coupling constant that is called vicinal coupling and dihedral angle in nmr spectroscopy so we have already discussed this coupling constant in the previous video i will share the link so now what is vicinal coupling you should know here vicinal coupling is a three bond coupling between the two protons you can see here two protons are there and how many bonds are there one two and three three bonds are there so it is having a vicinal coupling and the dihedral angle we have to find out between the two protons what is the dihedral angle which is represented by phi here so that we will see later now in which case you will see the effect of this dihedral angle where the restricted rotation is present in the molecule so if the restricted rotation means the molecule is not able to rotate the bonds are not able to rotate okay then the dihedral angle will influence the coupling constant value and it is very easy to predict the dihedral angle um, between the two vicinal protons uh, by using the carpelus equations and carpelus curve so this is the application of carpelus curve if somebody ask you the significance of carpelus curve or importance or application that is to predict the dihedral angle between the two vicinal ch bonds and you can learn these two equation which is very important to calculate the j vicinal value if the there is a restricted rotation in the molecule so if the angle varies uh, from 0 degree and 90 degree between this then you can use the equation j vicinal is equal to 8.5 cos square phi minus 0.28 if the angle is between 90 and 180 degree then you can learn j vicinal is equal to 9.5 cos square phi minus 0.28 so only thing is the difference between 8.5 and 9.5 so this is a carpelus equation and uh, if you are familiar with the dihedral angle the value you can calculate the j vicinal value we will see this in the example now this is a carpelus curve and you can notice here on the x axis the dihedral angles are given from 0 to 180 degree and on the y axis uh, you have j vicinal value in hertz the unit of j vicinal is coupling constant value is in hertz so at you can notice here at 90 degree which is in the center the dihedral angle value is minimum at 90 degree the value is 0 degree and uh, you can find with this plot that at 0 degree and 180 degree the dihedral angle value is a maximum here so we will see why at 0 degree and 180 the j constant value is maximum that is the coupling is strongest and at 90 degree the coupling is the weakest and in between you can notice as the angle 
uh, from 0 to 90 degree uh, okay it increases the dihedral angle value decreases similarly from 90 to 180 if you move the dihedral angle value increases so you can learn this now why at 90 degree the j coupling value is zero so you can notice here at 90 degree the dihedral angle between the two protons here this p lobe is for the carbon the two carbons and the two hydrogens are spherical and the angle is between this is called the dihedral angle and you can notice that there is no overlap when the there is a uh, perpendicular or vital picture so there is no uh, overlap is there therefore minimum overlap and so you can say the coupling is weakest and so the value of j value is 0 degree here 0 okay and uh, for 180 degree you can notice here the j value is maximum so this is a side view where you can notice the coupling is maximum here the strongest coupling here therefore the value of j value is maximum here where is from 9 to 12 similarly for 0 degree dihedral angle you can notice here the coupling is the strongest the overlap is maximum here therefore the j value will be maximum so this is the reason why the j value is minimum at 90 degree 0 and at 0 degree and 180 it is maximum so we can uh, make out these points that largest vicinal coupling will arise at transcoplanar position. So, this is 180 degree is called the transcoplanar position. The dihedral angle is 180 degree and so the coupling constant or the vicinal coupling will be the largest and you can find very small coupling when the two protons are at 90 degree to each other. So, this is important conclusion and if they ask you about card plus curve, you have to draw this and explain uh, the significance of this car plus curve. You can draw the orbital picture as well. Now we will uh, take the example of cyclohexane and uh, we can make out uh, to notice here that uh, the two protons uh, here which are at diaxial position, the coupling constant values shows between 10 to 14 hertz which is at 180 degree and if the two protons are diequatorial protons then the coupling constant is between 2 to 5 degree. Uh, 2 to 5 hertz that is near around 60 degree angle so the, the dihedral angle is 60 degree so now we will see what is diaxial position what is diaquatorial position so this is uh, the cyclohexane and where ha and hb position the two are just opposite to each other that is making 180 degree angle the trans coplanar the two protons are trans to each other and you can notice here one bulky group is present that is tertiary butyl which is restricting the rotation of the cyclohexane ring if you don't have tertiary butyl the flipping of the ring will occur easily so there is no case of restricted rotation so there will not be any effect of the dihedral angle on the vicinal coupling but here you have tertiary butyl which is a bulky group which is restricting the rotation of this cyclohexane ring and so the dihedral angle will influence the coupling constant value. So that the HA and HB, XY here are different groups, it may be some other group. So HA and HB are 180 degree and so the overlap is maximum and the coupling constant is varies from 10 to 14 hertz, the strongest. This is called axial axial position. The two hydrogens are at axial and axial position. So, if your one hydrogen is axial and the other hydrogen is equatorial position, so this position is called equatorial, which is towards inside. So, uh, one is axial, other is equatorial, and here the dihedral angle is 60 degree. So, you can put this phi value. Uh, 60 degree in the car plus equation and you can calculate the j value you will get the range between uh, 2 to 6 hertz that depends uh, how much is the angle and uh, you can notice here by decreasing the angle from 180 to 60 degree so this 60 degree falls between 0 to 90 degree so as uh, the angle the, the angle de uh, decreases from or increases from 0 to 90 degree the dihedral value decreases so therefore it is 2 to 6 while 180 degree is maximum similarly the you can notice here 
the two protons if both protons are equatorial here so this is called equatorial equatorial conformation the two protons are uh, having same approximately 60 degree angle and so the coupling constant you can calculate by using the equation you will get in this range so this is the example of a cyclohexane why you can notice this question this is again from the previous year msc chemistry question in the pmr pmr is proton magnetic resonance of cyclohexane the vicinal coupling constant between dihexyl proton is larger than the diequatorial protons why so you can notice here dihexyl is 10 to 14 hertz while diequatorial is between 2 to 5 hertz so i hope you can answer this question now because of the dihedral angle is decreasing here and you can explain here Karpel's curve and equation and define your answer. So I hope you understood uh, Karpel's curve and its application uh, and this particular example which is very important. You can find this example in uh, uh, many examinations. We, I will try to upload more topics on NMR like uh, some relaxation related uh, mechanism related topic. So all the best for your studies. Happy learning.